season. And the willingness to do so, taking extra classes last oh, summer. What a grab. T.J. Moore able to haul that one in. These types of plays that Dabo Sweeney hoping he'll be able to make out there at Clemson. Okay, that would look easy. Full extension with the right hand outside the numbers. I think initially it just had a few fingertips on it. Somehow it just magnetized to his palm. Williams will play at Arizona back into the game to quarterback. Slings one out here to the right side. Good timing, good velocity, and that's a first down to T.J. Moore. Use his lower body to really get some additional RPMs behind the football just like that. Finding something he likes there with the soft corners on the right side as the final seconds are set to, to tick off. T.J. Moore once again another catch. Recruiting class, big boost from Sammy Brown. Demond Williams rolling out. That's a strike. Started out the game with a touchdown toss to Jeremiah Smith, and on the move there finds T.J. Moore, and that worked out well. Sandy. But his mentality, his aptitude for the position is off the charts. Demond Williams, nice pocket, steps into one down the middle, and wide open, and the catch at the 24-yard line. T.J. Moore continues to have a big day for the Clemson Tigers. Easily moves the chains, and we'll see if they can turn that into something, as they sure need something down 24. Josiah Edmond was tracking the ball in flight the entire way. He was trying to get into recovery mode, and it just continued to sail, continued to carry, working over his head, over the head of Aaron Flowers. Four picks goes along well with 55 touchdown passes. <laughs> Shifting and firing. That is a strike. Well done to Mon Williams. To who else? T.J. Moore. And this was a fadeaway, Paul. I, I got to remind people again, Devon Williams, 5'11", 190. He's fading away with defenders in his face, able to put that level of horsepower on the pass to get it right on the numbers of T.J. Moore. That's a really impressive ball because at his height, you would imagine he loses sight of the wide receiver, but still able to spot throw to get his guy open and not able to step into it, but still have the RPMs to put it on the money. He's on this side with Lightfoot and Fountain making plays off the edge. On the backside, they don't get to him. There's a perfect ball. His best throw yet to T.J. Moore. Have a day, T.J. Moore. And that's how the down and in is supposed to look to move the chains. And it really shouldn't be this rhythmic because Davila and Moore haven't worked together but a couple of days here to reference, Paul, the way that that dig route, after you plant the foot, Moore rounds it off a little bit on the outside, right in between multiple defenders. Which you go for having a day here in the Alamo Dome. Davila back to that side again. This time he fires a bullet that's brought in. T.J. Moore is having an amazing afternoon, but that was an excellent throw from Davila for six. Back shoulder with some velocity. I mean, I don't know which was better, the throw or the catch, but both were absolutely spectacular. Plant that back foot, throw in rhythm over the outstretched hands of one defender, back shoulder to your playmaking wide out, then go out with strong hands as T.J. Moore to reel that one in. 